Hi guys, it's Pika10 and welcome to your 7th Roblox Lua tutorial. Now in this tutorial we'll be covering most, some of the um, common built-in functions. There's n I'm not going to be covering anywhere near all of them because there's absolutely loads. If I show you the object browser with built-in functions, all of them, some of them are going to be ones I'm showing you. All of those, all of these ones are the built-in functions, there's going to be absolutely loads. I'm not going to show you anywhere near all of them. Some of them are hidden, some of them aren't. Look, I've got new ones for camera, and loads of them are locked. Look, look, how, much, look how much stuff there's all of them. There's functions for all of these. Look at humanoid. There's all of these functions. Right, first of all, I'm going to show you the most common, probably one of the most common functions of all, called move. Actually, they're all built-in methods. They are functions, but a method is a function inside an object, and all of these built-in functions are inside objects, I think. So they're all actually methods. If I open up my script that we did last time, which is this loop, delete that. Actually, we won't use this. We won't use that script. Let's close this object browser and close the script. We're going to be using the command line for the first bit. So let's take the camera down so you can actually see the command line. That's it. So, what do you think you can do? Let, well, we have this brick. Actually, I'm going to see if I can... Can you, you can see the brick and the explore, so you can see what we're doing and everything is. But then you can't see the command line. This isn't working. Uh, um, hopefully you can see... Oh, I can move the explorer out, so if I see view... I can move it out, so let's, let's put it here. There, you can see explorer now. So you might want to see it. Might not, might want to see it. So, in the command line, well, the first of all, this function is remove. Func all functions have two brackets. Will we go actually in the tutorial after the next one? We'll be covering making our own functions. So all of the all of, all functions have two brackets after them. If it's a method, as in a function on an object, which all Roblox methods are, or all Roblox functions are. I think there were all of them anyway. You have you ha have to put the part that it's inside. And as we saw on the object browser, let me show you again. Object browser. The where is it? Base part, which is all of the normal parts. All of these functions are in base part, including remove. That function is inside base part. So let's take it so you can see the command line again. There you go. Now, with remo with remove, all of these functions you do not. So say there's like you need four capital letters. So there's a function called find first child. You do not need first part the first like capital letter to be capital. So it could be that works as well. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Find there you go. Nope. They do not need capital letters except for the second or third or fourth ones. Only the, the first one doesn't. So this one that we're doing at the moment is remove. This has doesn't it doesn't need a capital letter. But if if because it's inside something, we need a colon before it. So if we want to remove, say, let's put, there's a in here test. So we're going to remove test. We work workspace dot test colon remove. What do you think that would do? Well, wow, it's got removed. We never would have expected that. Hang on, um, let's just put another brick. Let's name this brick. Name test. Now, that's how all, all methods work. The workspace up to colon remove. So, there's a, the next one we're showing you is clone. So this function is clone. If what do you think if I type workspace dot test colon clone, that won't do anything because as we s I'm not sure if I explain this to you all all object all things that you can see are in workspace and that means their parent is workspace. So if you say an object is inside this model, their parent is this model. If an object inside players, their parent is players. And you need and in the properties window, ah, you can't see that. It's gonna put here so you can see it. Ooh, it's too big, too big still, make it smaller. 
if you check parent that's a property so you can if it because it's a property as I showed you before you can just say test dot parent equals workspace and we need works this, this is most most this workspace let's workspace dot test dot parent equals game dot lighting and now it's parent property is lighting and in explorer test is now in lighting so if I do it again here gay game dot work works well it's not in works anymore so it's game dot lighting dot test dot parent equals game dot workspace you can just put workspace so I sometimes do sometimes don't it always comes up with this yellow workspace that should not be tried with lighting if you put, try and put something lighting it doesn't matter it doesn't affect any game it's useful if like there's, you've got a frame model cloning script and there's loads of things that say this should not be child lighting this should not be child lighting and you know something's going wrong so n knowing that you need to set the parent to or in order to it to work workspace.test.clone clones the brick but the, it keeps all of its properties the same except the parent property it re it what it does this returns um the a uh, clone of the brick and its parent property is nil which means it doesn't have a parent if it doesn't have a parent you can't see it in any of these things so if you want to set it have a parent clone oops let's get that way dot parent so this this function returns the parts parent so that parts parent will now be well it returns doesn't repeat what am i talking about it returns a clone of the part that has a parent of nil so a clone of the part dot parent whoops my watch is going off workspace up to a clone of the parts parent and let's set it to workspace and what's surprise we have now two tests and if we do that again we want we would want to name it differently because otherwise we don't know which one it's going to happen so let's make test two workspace.test and you make another one and we can, can keep making more hopefully you understood that return if you don't understood um, return if you don't understand return yet we'll be going into that later um, probably 9th or 10th or later then we could do it another way lots of people like this way so we can change so if you want to clone a part so workspace dot we can tag it so as I show, it's not called tagging. Lots of people call it tagging. It's not called tagging. I'm just used to it because that's when I first learned it was on the wiki, and the wiki was wrong. I hope someone's going to change. Actually, I could change that, couldn't I? I wonder. Uh, never mind. Um, a equals workspace dot test dot clone, and because the clone returned, because clone returns a, ret clone returns a, clone returns a copy of the part. A is now a copy of the part. So now you can put a dot size equals um, vector three dot new. Mm, spell it right. I did spell it right. Five hundred, five hundred, five hundred, and then a dot parent equals workspace. That would clone the brick, but it wouldn't have a parent. So a is a clone of the brick. Then you can put the a's size is five hundred, five hundred, five hundred, and you can put a's parent is workspace so let's, if we do that it's going to create a clone of a that size is 500 500 for 500 and because it's um a base plate i think yeah because it's base plate it's plate so it doesn't go very high at all and base plate it's form factor is plate right how, how long have i been i've been nine minutes so let's oops let's get rid of that let's go over um Let's go with a fine first child. Now we're going to need a script for this one, so let's put explorer back in its place, and then let's put properties back in its place. And let's move this to where it usually is. Right, with our if statement, we can. This is a find first child as a function. And this function has what you call arguments, so the things that go inside. So find first child is a um, a function inside 
or a method, hang on, my phone is ringing. Sorry about that, my phone had rung. Um, find flash child is a function inside, ev inside base part, and base part is every part, not just a part, not just one of these parts, um, but any, a spawn location, a flag stand, a, a other parts, that a skateboard platform is a base part. So, find flash child, so if I wanted workspace, Look, test. Let's just use on the um, workspace look test. Right, find first child doesn't have any noticeable effects on, but it returns something very useful. It so if I put we had speech marks. This is because it, it's a string. It it's argument is a string. So if inside test we want if there's something called the string is the name by the way. I'll show, I'll explain more later. It's something called num inside test if there's something called num inside the brick called test then it this returns true which so we want we want to do this so if there's something called num inside test then it returns true um so a will be true if there's not something inside test called num it returns false this is very useful for say if I'm doing if if what 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 scripts use this loads of loads of scripts use it so if if you still got your arm for example so if part well this is um this this won't work because there's not anything called this if workspace dot ten dot um um fine first child left arm then end right this can check if picker 10 if the model picker 10 which isn't actually in workspace so it won't work has something called left arm now how much time i've been ah, i've got to end in a few minutes so if this checks if picker 10 has something called left arm inside them if it does it returns tr it is true and because this is true the if statement runs in here if it's not true then it goes to the end this can be really useful so, so if we wanted to say we can do this just an example script that you'd never use because it's pointless so we want if we put workspace dot test dot num dot value equals one what do you think is going to happen? Nope, let's close all them. Look at the output. Num is not a valid number part. It will error. If we put. Uh, but what, what if we want that to check continually? And so let's put while true do. Uh, no, let, let's do a for loop for i equals 1 100 do um, works space workspace dot test dot value note dot num dot value equals i end well that that will error because test doesn't have a num in it but what if we didn't want it to have a num in it at first, but we want it to have in it later. We would use if workspace.test has something called num in it, then do that, else we don't want it to equals one, we want it to equal i. Else workspace dot test no else print num not found so if and then if I insert another script let's name name this script um what should we name the script um script script two take up that square bracket that, then I wait 10 seconds 10 seconds then 